Hi everybody, this is Patrick with a quick primer in how to use discussion boards in Angel. So I'm going to use a discussion board from a previous semester here, and uh, generally what you'll see at the discussion board when you first enter it is at the very top a list of the instructions, and make sure you read the instructions carefully. Normally I will ask you to check in a certain number of times. Uh, you have to uh, maybe make a certain number of posts. Uh, once you have read the instructions, you can go ahead and you can make your posts. Now there's a couple different ways to make a post, and there's a couple different kinds of discussion boards. And the kind of discussion board we're in right now, you're actually able to make a new post. And that would be the instructions here is to create a new post. For the post title, you're going to need to uh, write something up here, um, depending on what my instructions said. I might, instruct, might have instructed you to type your name and then type something else. In this case, I did say, please type your name and the force, which was referring to something from chapter four in our textbook. So I would write my name and I would write the force that I wanted to talk about, which in this case, I'll talk about stereotyping. At this point, I come down here and I am going to write my post. And I could take as much room or as much space. I can, uh, I can, uh, as a space, sorry, can't type and, type and talk at the same time. I can do things like bold and underline if I wanted to. Um, I can make paragraphs. I can, I can change the color of the text if I want to emphasize something. Of course, none of this needs to be done. You can just type straight up a, a paragraph and you'll be fine. Once you're finished your post, you click submit. Now you'll notice it's at the very top because these are normally sorted by when they were posted and you can see this is the post date. At this point you can go into it and you could, uh, you could edit it if it's your own post. You could delete it if it's your own post. You could also reply to it. Now you can reply to your own post or to other people's posts. Yeah, normally the post title will remain the same but you could change it if you really wanted to and then this would be the reply. Now one good feature about this uh, system is that you'll know when you've read the post or not. You'll notice that this post is not bolded, but this post is bolded. That means I haven't read this post yet. So I could go in, read the post, and again, reply to it if I wanted to. Um, when you hit the reply button, you'll notice that the original post is still down there in case you need to refer to something. If you made a mistake, you can just click cancel. Sometimes there will be a new post button, sometimes there won't be. If there's no new post button, that means you can only reply, or it means that the due date is passed and all you can do is read. Now there's a couple other things you can do here. If you, are, if you have a lot of directions up here and you don't need them anymore, you can click minus and it goes away. Right now we're in the threaded view, which means that if you have these little plus buttons next to them, you can open that up and see what the replies were. We can see here that Emily posted and Crystal replied. If you wanted to open up all of the threads, you can click that plus button and you'll see all of the threads will open for the entire bulletin board, which might be helpful in case you're trying to find certain posts. You can also do something called nested view. What nested view does is it, it, in addition to showing you the name of the person who did the post, it's going to show you the post itself. And of course, these can be uh, opened and closed as well in case you don't want to see as much as you're getting. This can be tricky to read because there's a lot of stuff here now and um, there's also all these replies which you might not see right away. I think the, generally speaking, the threaded view might be a little easier to look at. Uh, finally, we have the search view. Maybe you're looking for a post from a particular person. Uh, you could do uh, search for somebody's name. You could search for a word in case you want to find that particular post again. The final thing I want to show you within the bulletin board system or the discussion board system is that you can subscribe to the discussion boards. So if you go to the communicate tab of Angel, you'll find a list of all of the discussion forums that are in this class. And next to these, you'll find a little uh, line that says email updates and you'll find the word subscribe or unsubscribe you are automatically unsubscribed to all bulletin boards. But if you want a particular bulletin board to be updated on it, you can click it, uh, click subscribe, and then all of a sudden, you will now get email updates every single time somebody posts in here. Why might you want to do that? Well, perhaps you uh, are really interested in a discussion that's happening and you want to see when new people are posting. Maybe you're in a group online and the group is posting things you want to know when those posts are there so you don't have to log into Angel to see. 
So the subscribe function can be very nice, but it also can fill up your email with a lot of emails. So if you uh, don't want all those emails, you can always come back and unsubscribe, and therefore you're no longer subscribed. So that's the basics on using discussion boards. I think this is a great tool and a, and a pretty easy system to use. If you have any questions or suggestions, please let me know. Thank you very much. Have a great day.